Hello everyone, welcome to Research Hub. In the previous video now we have estimated this PLSM model that also includes two controlled variables, right? Fantastic. So in this lecture what we are going to do is we are going to estimate a multi-group PLSM model. For simplicity, I'm going to remove the control variables from our main model. So I click here, I press delete, model is gone, the latent variable is gone. I click on the gender, press delete, the gender variable is gone. So this is our main model, right? And I'm going to use this one for multi-group modeling. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to estimate this model in a multi-group setting for male and female based on gender. And then we can see if the effect of all these relationships, if the effect from bus tangible to customer satisfaction, the effect of bus driver's quality to customer satisfaction, all these relationships that we have in, a, in our hypothesis model, if the relationships, they really differ for males and females. It doesn't have to be males and females, it could be anything. It could be based on season. Uh, it could be based on location. It could be based on many other things. Okay, so the main idea of multi-group model is that you check the relationship between the same hypothesis relationship for different groups of respondents. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to give you an example in the case of gender. So before we go to multi-group modeling, we actually have to uh, do a we have to create the multi-group model, the grouping variable. Okay, so to do the grouping variable, we have to actually come to the data set. So here is our data set, okay, bus service data set. And here you see we have these two options for generating group. If you do not have it here, if I just close it, I have to only double click here and I have the data set again, okay. And here we have two options. So if I click here, and then what I can do is I can give a name. So let's say if I give female, okay. And then I can select the variable. So the variable is gender. And then the variable from gender female actually equals to what? One, right? So that's what I have to do. And I just click OK. Then we will have the variables created, the grouping variable created. Okay. And another option is that we have here in the generate data group. So here we can have multiple conditions for creating groups. Okay, for example, if I am going to call group gender. So let's say again, I click select here, uh, group gender, so male and female. If I now click this one, okay, it will create the groups, which I'm going to do later, okay? But let's say if I want to see kind of the interaction uh, effect of the group and season. Yeah. So then what I can do is I can select this one and I can also select, let's say weather. Okay, so now actually I will have four groups. So one will be like one for gender, one for weather, one for gender, zero for weather. Then it will be like zero for gender, zero for weather, zero for gender, one for weather. So I will have four groups now. Okay, but that's not uh, I want actually at the moment and I'm not sure if then we will have enough, uh, if we will have enough sample size par groups actually if I want to do these four groups, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call it group gender. I'm simply going to create two groups based on gender and I'm going to click OK. And you see we have now two groups. One group has 133, one group has 139. Okay, so these are our two groups. Now I come here in my modeling. Uh, to run a multi-group model, all that I have to do is I have to go to calculate, okay? And then I have to go here in multi-group analysis. And I have to select one for group one and another one for group two. That's it. And PLSM, here I make sure it's path for bootstrapping 1000, one tail, yeah, 0 0.05. That's all actually, and we click start. And then it will run the estimation. So it looks like we have the results already. And if I just click here on the report, I will get the results and here are actually our results. Okay, so here you see the p-values are not significant. They are, as you can see, they are 
red. The, none of them are zero, less than 0 0.05. Okay. So here, what it means is that the effect of bus driver's quality to customer satisfaction, they are more or less the same for male and female in our data set. The effect from bus rangible to customer satisfaction and so on, they are more or less same in our data set. They do not really differ between the genders. Okay. So here, the, what we have is the difference in our path coefficient. coefficient. So this is the difference for our, from uh, group zero to the coefficient of group zero minus the coefficient of uh, group one. So that's the value that we have here. And here what we have is that if this value is significant or not. Okay, so this is the p value for the original sample. And here we have the p value for the bootstrap sample, I believe. And that's more or less the same. Okay, and there is no difference. Right? If you want to see the submitted results in detail, you can actually click here in bootstrap re bootstrap resampling or something like that. So if you click there, then you can see all the results. Okay, so here the parts coefficient, the original one. Okay, this is the group zero and this is I think the group two. Yeah, this is the group two. And here, this is the sample for group one and sample for group two. Yeah, that's it. And if this is the P value for group one and this is the, and also we have the P value for group two, both of them. I have mistakenly hidden the P value here. This is the p-value for group one and p-value for group two. Okay, that's what we see here. So these are the estimated results on the group level. And here what we have is if the difference of the group coefficients are statistically significant or not. And we see that they are not different from each other. Okay, but from here we can see that for different groups they are still statistically significant except for really the first one where for the second group it's not really much significant. Okay. So that's all actually we see from here, from the multi-group analysis. And I hope you found it useful, okay? Nowadays, it has become very common to actually apply multi-group analysis in most of structural equation modeling. Often, it's a good idea to have a multi-group analysis as a kind of extension or postdoc analysis in your study. Okay, thank you. In the next video, I will cover a moderating effects model, okay?